Hello YouTube. Today is Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday. It's Monday. I wish it was Wednesday. It is Monday, June 11th. This is going to be my week 10 recap. Here is Lola as well. She is snuggling with me after um, our anniversary week and this weekend we went out of town. We left her with some friends so I think she's trying to make up for the extra snuggle time that she didn't get with us this weekend. Um, I look a uh, a mess. I don't care. I'm in my glasses and there's a glare coming from the light that's over there, but whatever. I am so tired. <laughs> we got into the habit of staying up late, so therefore we stayed up late yesterday and I got about three hours of sleep for work. So I am dead tired. Took a nap. So this is me after my nap. And yeah, so I'm just going to get straight to the video. Um, Like I said, it was my anniversary weekend. We went to a little German Bavarian village here in Washington called Leavenworth. We got married there last year. Mm, we love to go there. We used to make day trips there all the time, but lately, whenever we our rent went up and everything, and we moved, and after we got married, and trips to go see my family in Texas, planning trips to go see friends in Virginia, planning trips to go see my grandmother in Illinois. We don't have the funds to go as much as we used to. So, it's been a year since we went there. We went there and just hung out. We got a hotel for the weekend. It was just him and I. We had the cake topper, which was fabulous. His mother made it, my mother-in-law. She made it. She um, does the fondant work and everything, and it was an amazing cake. It smelled great. It was still super moist. And for those of y'all who do care, it was a cherry chip top-tiered three-layer... It was like more like two and a half uh, layered cake and she put an extra maraschino cherry juice and maraschino cherries in it as well to help keep the moisture and it was amazing. So we went to this little German town and what do people in German like to do? They drink. And it's not like I went and got shit faced or anything. I just haven't really had a lot of drinking since my trip to Texas in December where I partied way too hard so I haven't drank. So we went out for when Friday night, Friday night, and we went to a local area where, cause colleges up here just got out, and there were a shit ton of college kids there, and that's not our scene. Just fuck it, whatever. They're loud, annoying, and sloppy drunk, so that's not who we hang out with. So we went to a local bar, well, where the locals go, and it was nice. I mean, it was it was kind of cool, but it was nice. It wasn't crazy people getting shit faced. So that was fun. Um, went there. I had three of my whipped vodka with root beer. So that was my Friday night drinking. After three, I was like, I'm done. I can already feel it dehydrating me. It's I don't want to be sick in the morning. So I called, my, cut myself off at three. And then Saturday was our fun day. We went out shopping. We went to a town nearby called Wenatchee and we went to the Goodwill because my husband's shoes had started, to, the he had just got his boots resold and the soles were already coming off so he had to go find new shoes. So we went there but we also planned on going there anyways to go to Sonic because there's, I mean there's one close, it's like 30 minutes away but we don't go to that one because to us the Sonic, going to Sonic is a treat. We don't want to make it a, an easily accessible meal for us. <clears throat> So we ate Sonic, went to Goodwill there, uh, got new pants, I mean got new shorts, so there was a plus, uh, Old Navy 22 shorts, and they fit perfect now, so hopefully they'll just last me this summer and then I'll donate them again. Um, so then we went back to the town we were staying in and we shopped, and we walked and we walked and we walked and we walked, we walked everywhere in the town. I told them there's no excuse for us not to walk, we're all, we're both able body and so we're walking everywhere. And we also went to the new Icicle Brewery they have in there. Um, it's about a year old. Just a little brew shop. And my husband did the sampler and I found the beer that I can tolerate. I'm not a beer drinker usually. So I got this one. It's a Raspberry Wheat Heffenweiser. Heffenweiser. I don't know. But they mixed that with lemonade and it was drinkable and almost... It was pretty good. So we had one of those and then we went out to the beer garden later on that night after dinner. And I had gotten another one from, it just wasn't the same. It was regular beer and lemonade and 
It wasn't sweet like the raspberry. So I drank maybe. They served it in a mason jar at this place. I drank maybe like that much out of my mason jar. So whatever. And then Sunday we went and walked and did some more shopping after we checked out of the hotel and still walked everywhere. And we went and had another beer before we left. So I mean all in all only like six drinks. So I didn't do too bad. Um, so, but with drinking and Sonic and we had pizza and other stuff, I, um, I did go up in my weight, went up 3.2 pounds. I expected it. I'm not too worried about it. I still feel really dehydrated and bloated at the same time from the beer and the, sh the sugars and the salts that I had. So I'm not too worried about it. I have my 12 pounds to lose, uh, 10.4 pounds. So I can get to my 50 pound mark before I go on vacation to see my friends in Virginia so hopefully that happens some other thing for the foods there um on my fitness pal I did track everything I ate um I think there's one I didn't get my pizza checked in there yet because I couldn't find the right kind of pizza I wanted to put on there for what we had however I found out pizza is a food I cannot have because we went there and my plan was to have one slice of pizza with the bread and everything the rest to eat the toppings and I was able to do that, but it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do was just to eat the toppings off that pizza because I love bread. And this place, the crust was amazing. It was a thin crust, yet it was still thick and doughy and soft like the deep dish from Pizza Hut. It was amazing. Also, um, we had brats Friday night for my little brat stand that I love there. It was delicious, and I ate the bread. Also, um... Like I said, we had Sonic, we had the pizza, we had, we went to a little cafe there for breakfast, and I, I'm not a big breakfast fan, especially at breakfast time, so I had gotten me a patty melt. On all of these meals, I never once finished a whole meal. I always had, um, like a fourth of it left, almost a fourth, so I never really ate a full full meal which was very nice to me to know that I was able to stop myself and not overindulge because before I would have been like oh there's like four bites left let me just go and finish it no I finished it and everything else at Sonic at the pizza place with my brat with the patty melt I took off the bread most of the bread I had like two or three bites of bread with the exception of the pizza and I didn't want the bread just because I knew the carbs and the calories and what it was going to do to me. So I chose not to. Now, whenever I did, whenever I would say I was done with my food and I could tell my body was full, I would kind of destroy my food. I would stab it with a fork. I would make it look ugly. Anything to keep me from picking at it. And after I, you know, demolished, destroyed my food, I would put my napkin over it and scoot it away from me. It sounds so funny and stupid, but that's what I have to do. Because if it's there in front of me, I'm going to pick at it. So that is something I know about myself. Also, that, what, that was one of my NSVs is I didn't eat all my food. And I, um pulled off most of my breads and I also got those shorts the old navy 22's and then also my thing is a big NSV for us is we walked the whole time um there's been a few times we've gone there and I'm just like oh let's just drive the block because I was lazy and didn't want to do it so that was great for me and also the pizza was clear across town from us we were at one end the pizza was at the other end and we literally walked there. I mean, it wasn't that far. It's like 10 to 12 blocks. So it wasn't too far. And we got there in no time. And I think it was a great choice. Um, also, with eating all this junk food over the weekend, I can definitely feel it today and over the weekend. I just didn't feel like I had the energy that I used to or that I have been having these past 10 weeks doing my pre-op diet. I am... Um, you know, I could tell it was crap food. Didn't make me feel 100% like I usually am. And so I'm looking forward to getting back onto my high. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're still a CP head. I'm looking forward to getting on back onto the high uh, protein, low carb diet. I followed pretty good today. Um, I got to get my exercise back in, even though I've been doing a lot of walking. I don't consider a lot of that. A exercise because I work at a coffee shop so I'm pretty fast paced there 
So uh, I try not to count it as exercise just because then whenever I do lose the weight, it'll be an extra plus to me. Um, some other things I wanted to bring up this video is last week, Wednesday or Thursday, and got out of the shower. I was putting on my Nivea Skin Firming Lotion. I put it on my arms, my legs, my um, stomach, my back. Pretty much any everywhere that I can without it like you know causing anything harm. <laughs> I uh, was lotioning up my stomach and I was just like, oh no! I looked. I have my first shrinkle, guys, and I'm kind of surprised already. It's only been ten weeks. I've only lost well before this. I had only lost about forty three pounds, and I have a shrinkle, so. First of many to come, I am sure, but I was kind of excited because I'm like, oh, look, I'm shrinking. I got a shrinkle. And then also I told my husband, I was like, I have a shrinkle. And he knew what it was. <laughs> that surprised me. And then also another thing I'm noticing is my hair is changing. It's because um, I know with surgery, everybody says they start to lose their hair around the three-month mark. Either it starts getting really thin and falling out and et cetera, something along those lines. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's possible for me to be happening just because I am changing my diet, but I've noticed my hair, um, it does come out easier, which I'm not too worried about. My hair is so thick, it's ridiculous. Um, but it's changing. Like, I could tell it's getting thinner, like crazy thinner. Like, whenever it comes out of the shower and stuff, I'm looking at it and I could tell the new growth to where my hair used to be because it's thinner like you can run your fingers with the hair and you can feel it goes thin 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 then it gets thick at the end so maybe that something's gonna happen to me um excuse me like I said if anybody has heard um of it happening to a pre-op patient who's following a pretty similar strict diet um I'd like to know if it was normal or not this is something I'm definitely going to ask my doctor whenever I go see him next month in July because I mean I'm not complaining about it. I would love to have thinner hair and it feels thinner and then it gets thick but I just need to know if it's normal or if it's a lack of a vitamin for me or anything because whenever I have vitamins checked and everything everything was good except for my vitamin D and I'm assuming that it has to do with the proteins and everything that I'm eating and the lack of the vegetables and fruit that I would normally have eaten this time of year since it's starting to get fruit and veggie season so, any thoughts on that would be greatly appreciated, guys. Um, I think that is it. Let me just take one quick look over my note. Yes, I'm flicking her ear. Um, I think that is it. I'm just, I mean, of course I gained the weight. I'm not too worried about it. I'm very proud of myself for how I handled my anniversary weekend. I did have cake and it was delicious but that cake went to work today and it's not at my house anymore because we can't have the cake here but um i think that is it guys and i will <clears throat> talk to you guys later this not this week next week if i do come on later this week will be amazing but um i'm hoping to have my uh plans for success while in Virginia, two weeks video. I see, I started my notes for that, guys. I don't know. Yeah. So I started my notes for it, for what I want to talk about. And also, I was able to upload my old video with my comparable body shots in it. Go check it out. It's 523 10, 12 is what the, the start of it is. And then also, um, I will be doing body shot video before I go to Virginia since I fly out on the 23rd, and 23rd is my body shot day so I will do that in the morning before I go to the airport hopefully and probably get try to upload it at the airport and if I don't then I will edit it and have fun with it while on the plane so this video is almost 15 minutes long I will talk to you guys later hope everybody has a great week and I will you know hear that the traffic's right there Lola says goodbye too